As you saw from the thumbnail, today is going to be a review of the Creo Botanicals Shampoo Bar, their leave-in conditioner, and their hair butter. Now, I have been using these three products for the whole month of January. But this is their low porosity line. The only thing that I don't have in it is the oil and the deep conditioner. I have too many deep conditioners, as I mentioned later on in the video. But I have been using these products going on the past three weeks, and I truly, truly do like them. Now, at the end, you'll see my hair is already set in this style. This is the style that I ended up with after using these. And it's just my usual twists, some flat twists in the front, which I connected all of those twists across to just do a halo. I'll swing around in the back so you can see the back a little bit. At the end of this video, I mentioned that I didn't like how my ends were looking. So yes, I have gone ahead and clipped off more of my hair on the ends. I do not care. But again, this video is about Creo Botanicals Shampoo Bar for Low Porosity Hair, which removes buildup without stripping your hair. And you'll see in the video what I'm talking about. The leave-in conditioner that is absolutely protein-free and lightweight. And I also show it again in the video. It's a little bit lower now because I did use more of it. It smells fruity and clean. Hair butter, I have been smashing it. This hair butter is very, very lightweight. A little goes a long way, but I've been using it up. So guys, if you want to see how the Korea Botanicals work in my hair and what I think of it further on into the video, just keep watching. All right, guys, let's get started. Here is the Korea Botanicals uh, shampoo bar, fresh out the box. Now, I have used this shampoo bar multiple times. This is what it looks like. It is still in twist, and I just got it out from under the sink, saturating it with water. So I'm just going to start putting it in. I have not cut this bar. I like using my shampoo bars whole. And as soon as you start rubbing this into your hair, you start getting the lather. And I do have a spray bottle here for this. And in just a moment, I'm going to take this section down and work the lather in. <clears throat> and as soon as I start working it down... water in it. This is warm water in this spray bottle to keep my cuticles open. Put my towel in my lap so I don't get sopping wet. And pick the shampoo bar back up and just running it over my strands. I slept in my pre-poo and this shampoo bar is phenomenal. Look at the suds. Look at that. I've used this about, this is, might be the third time that I've used that shampoo bar. And generally all I need is one wash with this. Okay. Okay, I'm going to speed this up and work through the rest of my hair. And I'll be right back in just a moment. Turn around in the back so you can see what my scalp looks back there. And as I rinse this out, I'll undo my strands and work it into my strands in the shower. Getting underneath my twist. All right, guys, I'm going to go jump in the shower, work it in some more. All right, guys, I am all out of the shower from rinsing out the shampoo from the Korea Botanicals shampoo bar. I left the shampoo bar in the bathroom so that it can dry out before I put it back in the box, okay? I'm just going to take the sections down just to show you my hair. Now, my hair is very, very soft still, and it has the stripped filling to it. But it doesn't feel like it's strip strip to the gods. It still has some moisture to it. And as you can see, I do have some definition in my hair. That means my hair uptook 
some of the moisture. Normally my hair in the front especially does not have any type of definition in it after I wash my hair because generally I don't get any moisture upload very, very often until I hit my deep conditioner stage. Okay, I'm gonna twist this back up just to show you a section in the back. But one note with this shampoo bar, while it's in the shower, you get even more suds. You're able to detangle with it. However, once you start rinsing this shampoo bar out, you get the squeakies. So do not try to uh, detangle your hair after you have rinsed the suds out of this because you might take a chance if your strands are anything like mine, you might break some of your hair. Okay, guys, so that was the shampoo bar, which I love. I am so far, I'm loving quite a few shampoo bars. The, my own, this one, and also the Obia Naturals shampoo bar. But so far, as far as removing all buildup, almost like a clarifying shampoo, but without stripping my hair, this bar, hands down, I love it. The next one I want to try is the Baskin Bloom bar, but the bar itself is $12. And I don't pay $12 for the soap and I got to pay for the shipping. So that's going to have to wait. So my hair has been in a t-shirt for a minute to absorb some of the moisture. My hair is soft and moisturized from the deep conditioner. First thing I'm going to do is spritz my hair with some aloe vera juice. <clears throat> then I'm going to work around my whole head with this same step. And I'm going to put a shower cap on my head with the leave-in conditioner before I even attempt to start twisting my hair. And what that is, is a low porosity trick where you apply your leave-in conditioner, go back under a plastic cap to let it absorb into your hair before you start your actual styling. I have noticed that helps sometime with my moisture uptake, okay? That is the aloe vera juice, which I can use, of course, in low amounts, okay? Now... This is the Crea Botanicals leave-in conditioner. And I've used this a few, a few times already. I think this might be my third application of it. And as you can see, it doesn't even look like the jar has been used at all. A little bit of this goes a long way. And even if I'm heavy-handed with it, it does not give me product buildup, but it does pack amazing moisture. Okay, and it says leave-in conditioner for low porosity hair protein free with veggies and herbs provides hydration and moisture and is automatically pH balanced to 4.5 and it's botanically based natural and organic ingredients let me see if I can read anything it says no petroleum no silicones no uh, petalatum no phylates no mineral oil let me see if I can read any of the ingredients no nope, they're too small so <laughs> the ingredients will be put down below as always okay I'm gonna get a good amount out on my finger just to start off work it in it's white white it spreads it's creamy you can feel the water in it and I'm just starting rub it into my ends really good work it in work it in and you can see some of the residue on my hair but the length of my hair, the shaft of my hair, absorbs it pretty good. And it smells, let me see, it smells fruity, but very, very clean. It's a light fruit cocktail scent to me. Okay, I'm just going to twist that in there. Separate my hair and put a little bit more. In the middle and then as I get ready to twist my hair up I'll add more if I need to okay that's the first section twist it up and as you see it's got pretty good absorption in the back of my head now I'm gonna do an area up here before I go off and let this sit for about 15 minutes underneath a plastic cap of course I'll apply it on all sections of my hair bringing that up and this twisting motion also helps product to penetrate into low porosity. Okay, take this side down. <clears throat> this is a larger section, so I'm going to take a heaping 
amount to start off. Same thing. I got some on my face, guys. Separate it a little. Work it in. Okay. okay, and as you can see, see how much more it absorbs in, but you still see it riding on the top of my head. But even if this one, I noticed with this product, even if it has looked like it has going to have residue on the top and it's going to flake. It has never flaked in my hair. Eventually, my hair absorbs all of this leave-in conditioner and its matching butter. Okay, so I'm going to apply the rest of this to my hair and put my plastic cap on for 15 minutes, and then I'll be back. All right, I've been under here for a minute, but before I went under here, I went ahead and went in my bathroom and separated my hair out into some rolls. I'm going to turn around in the back so you can see it right quick without knocking anything over. And I just separate it out so it makes it a little bit easier when I start twisting my hair. The parts are not perfect, but they're not completely raggedy. Now the hair in the front is probably gonna be a series of small flat twists running across, just going back. And then as the scalp area disappears, I'll just twist it all the way down. So flat twist, drop, and then the back of my hair will be medium sized twists. So I'm gonna start with the bottom row just to do one on camera. Then I'll do the rest off. Now my hair is already soft. That leave-in conditioner has pretty much absorbed into my hair. And my ends are curling up, so I'm going to have to do some finger detangling as I go along. And I'm going to pretty much just use my fingers for this. Leave-in conditioner has pretty good slip, but when you first put it on, you cannot detangle with this. It doesn't have amazing slip where you can really detangle with it unless your hair is in small sections like this okay but it does feel moisturizing on my hair. okay <clears throat> now here's the hair butter with grapeseed butter prevents moisture loss botanically based natural and organic ingredients also for low porosity hair i'm gonna open it up <clears throat> and this i have been using but you can still see it's not that much of a dent into this as well. It is real firm, but it is very, very creamy. And you don't need very much of this either per section. I used too much on the last wash day because I have been using this for the whole month of January and my hair came out greasy. Moisturized, but greasy. So I start off with adding it to my ends and work my way up. And it's very smoothing to your hair. Okay. Okay. Separate it out. And then I'm just going to twist my hair. And as I go, I'm using my thumb to detangle it as I go along and smooth it as I twist it down. And I'll do this all over my head. Some of my twists may turn out to be a little bit bigger. Some of them might turn out to be a little bit smaller. But as long as my hair is protected, I can pull it back into a bun. I can put a, a headband around it and keep my hair under lock. All right, guys, I got the majority of my head all twisted up except for the flat twist in the front, which I will not do on camera because I'm horrible when I have to do it on camera. I get all twisted up. I'm going to turn around in the back so you can see it. They have a little shine to them now that they're pretty much twisted up and drying a little bit. Okay, guys, I just want to show you something because I'm seriously thinking about cutting my hair again down to the thickness level. You can't see it that much on this one. It looks pretty good. Let me see if I can find one at the top. But you see that at the top, how much thinner it gets up here. And in some areas of my head, mainly in the crown, 
I can still feel some little knots and tangles when I go through my hair. So I'm seriously thinking about cutting maybe another inch to a half inch off of my hair. But I need to show you guys this. Is that the very top one up there? I'm gonna do this one right here. I'm gonna undo this right quick just so you can see the ends that I'm talking about. That up there. I don't have a comb in here. Huh, let's see. You can feel it more than you can see it. Oh, sorry. This is hard to do, but the comb goes right through it, which is good. But you see that right there? See that? I'm thinking about cutting that amount. And that's probably a good inch off of my hair. So I haven't made up my mind yet. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and flat twist the front and then I'll be back on, guys, to show you the front. Done. Those are just the little flat twists. And as you can see, you can see all my gray hair. Oh, it's time for henna treatment. Same thing on both sides. And the back again. Went pretty good. Wish me luck, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.